Our next trip is to Elkhorn Slough. It's a national reserve located close to the coast of Monterey Bay, south of Santa Cruz. Right after the entrance, there is a new visitor center with some interesting displays depicting coastal wildlife. giant crabs, birds, and mud dwellers like mollusks and worms. Some curious finds that you can touch are horns, bones, shells, and feathers. Whale vertebrae is awesome. Before we will start our walk, we need to brush our shoes using these specially designed brushes. It's done to get rid of any seeds stuck in the rubber. This helps to protect the local ecosystems from invasive species. There are plenty of picnic tables near the visitor center, but no fires allowed and no pets. The first stop is so-called Overlook. This is a vista point from which you can observe the landscape, including hard-to-miss features called Little Barn and Big Barn. We took South Marsh Loop and walked counterclockwise towards Old Rookery. There are plenty of shady places along the way, thanks to the old oak trees. There were some interesting birds, but obviously the species you'll see will depend on the time of year. Some birds stay here all year round, some just passing on their way to or from their wintering locations. We saw egrets and herons, mallard and bufflehead ducks, and sandpipers. 
This place showcases coastal marshes, or what's left of it, because the remnants of human activity can be spotted all the way. Here are the raccoon footprints on the shore, along with prints left on the sand by some bird. the flower of the eucalyptus tree. Eucalyptus was brought to California from Australia during the gold rush and the middle of the 19th century and is known for fast growth and the ability to shade its bark. Tea can be made from dried eucalyptus leaves and Australian Aboriginal people used this tea to treat fever. However, be careful as almost any medicine consumed in large doses can have side effects. Never ingest eucalyptus oil because it's highly toxic. In addition to the birds, sea creatures also inhabit the tidal marshes. These jellyfish got stuck in algae. South Marsh Loop Trail has a short appendix of about 0.3 miles to Hummingbird Island. This section has railroad crossings and stairs to the top of the hill. The island has an unusual structure made of layers of volcanic pumice, or lava, and seashells, oysters and scallops. It looks like it was a wall for some kind of pond. Thanks for watching! Please subscribe if you want to stay in touch. We already have over 40 videos about various travel destinations around San Francisco, and we intend to add many more. Good luck and stay safe on your trails!